Hello everybody and welcome to Ancient Architects. Please subscribe now to get the latest ancient history news and independent research from around the world. Whilst writing part 2 of my Bent Pyramid special, I came across a curious discovery of a box of mummified remains found inside the pyramid. Yes, surprisingly, there is at least some form of burial inside an Egyptian pyramid. The remains were found in the sloping western corridor of the pyramid, and the historian Fakhri describes it by saying, The box which contained the mummy of a bat was put in the lower part of the passage at a distance of about 2 metres from the end of the removed blocks, and was covered with plaster. The box was discovered in 1947 by Egyptologist Abd Esalam Hussein, and it was the subject of an article the following year by Dr A. Batwari titled, A Small Mummy from the Pyramid of Dashur. But there was more than just a mummified bat, there was also the remains of an owl along with another five bat schools. Batwari said that the mummified remains were found under a certain stone in the floor of a built up corridor within the structure of the pyramid. The mummy is believed to be Ptolemaic in origin, a later addition that if true is not particularly surprising due to the scale of renovations that have taken place inside the Bent Pyramid. Interestingly, there was also some Egyptian text discovered in the pyramid, but this time in the North Corridor and it is also believed to be from the Ptolemaic period, or possibly the 26th dynasty. Fakhri also described a crudely drawn lion that was present nearby. This old photograph from the Illustrated London News from January the 3rd, 1948 shows the 20 inch long box that held the mummified remains. Batwari described the box as being under a stone in the floor, but this picture seems to show that the box had been walled up within a heap of rubble with mortar or plaster added. The article states that the coffin bears a symbol of a hawk, but maybe this was actually an owl as that was also what was inside the box. As far as I'm aware, there are no other images of this find, although by all accounts, Batwari did take some more. Originally, the part of the pyramid where the remains were discovered were completely plugged, so the experts assume that the remains were left when this part of the pyramid were dug and dismantled during what they think is the late period of ancient Egyptian history. But of course, nobody knows this for sure. As they were mortared into the masonry, as the image here seems to show, maybe they do in fact date back to the time of the pyramid's construction. As these photographs from the fabulous Aceda project show, there are hundreds of bats that now occupy the pyramid and they have probably been present for many hundreds of years. As a side note, interestingly local residents call the nearby red pyramid the Bat Pyramid. During my research I've never come across a mummified bat in any ancient Egyptian structure, and finding information on their significance is a real struggle. Some say that the ancient Egyptians hung bats over their doorways to prevent demons from entering, although I am struggling to find a source of this claim. Others say that it was believed that they could prevent or cure fever, boldness, toothache or poor eyesight. A 3,500 year old papyrus that was translated a few years ago by a Danish Egyptologist said that the blood of a bat, as well as parts from other animals, could help cure ingrown eyelashes amongst other things. These three images are taken from the book titled The Monuments of Egypt and Nubia Civil Monuments, written by Ippolito Rossellini. They come from an Italian expedition into Egypt in the early 1800s, and were found in the tomb of Beket in the Beni Hassan cemetery, which dates from the Middle Kingdom era of ancient Egyptian history. These are very rare, as there are virtually no depictions of bats in Egyptian art. Besides these, there are just a few line drawings, clay statues and a small bronze figure. And that's it. And no, there isn't a specific strong focus on bats at Beni Hassan either. The three mentioned are part of a broader collection of animal motifs at the site, and they are located alongside numerous images of birds. This seems to assume that the Egyptians believed that the bat was a type of bird, and actually this isn't surprising. Bats are important symbols in many cultures, especially the pre-Columbian cultures of South America, not to mention other parts of Africa and also China. But in Egypt, apart from medical cures, mentions and depictions of bats are rare. There are no known bat myths, bat gods or cults, so why was there a concealed mummified bat and five schools carefully placed into the Bent Pyramid? Whether pre-dynastic, Old Kingdom, New or Ptolemaic, these animals are not prominent in Egyptian culture, and for researchers they are a headache. 
Where the box and the remains are now is unknown, and there is no real information to go on. And I'm guessing that no radiocarbon dating has been conducted on the remains. Mainstream historians have conveniently ignored the find. Bats were a little more prominent in nearby Mesopotamia, and they were called birds of the holes or caves. The god Enki's daughter, Nanshi, was strongly connected with bats, and a Sumerian hymn about the goddess Inanna says, My lady, the great Anuna gods scatter from you to the ruined mounds like scared bats. They dare not stand before your furious gaze. They dare not confront your terrible countenance. For ancient Egypt, having mummified bats inside the Bent Pyramid is a real mystery. Are they original burials inside the pyramid, or are they later additions from the Ptolemaic era? I'm afraid this is a puzzle we may never be able to solve. I have just launched a second YouTube channel called Space and Planets, which focuses on Earth and space science news, as well as independent scientific research. Please subscribe now to give my new channel a head start, I have placed a link in the description below. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Ancient Architects. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, please like the video, and please leave a comment below. Thank you very much.